Hey there guys, welcome back to Dead Space. Today we force our way further through the festering halls of the fucked up frigate of the Ishimura, and wade our way through nests of not so friendly necromorphs. Last time on Dead Space, we were introduced to the Brute Necromorph, a beefy bastard who doesn't give a single fuck about how many rip-arounds you burst him with. After that we traveled back to the good old arcade 80s with a round of live action asteroids, and lastly, we hurried our way through hydroponics and battled the Regenerator, a hokey and healthy bastard that, as you could guess, regenerates. Lastly, we battled the fucking Leviathan, and I don't want to talk about that thing. It fucking sucked. Anyway, welcome back to Dead Space. So we're carrying on from last time, and now we have to go and counter some nasty wildly shit. And I'm not exactly too happy about it. So... I did find the inventory upgrade that I've been bitching about this entire time, if I can remember how the fuck the rig system works. So now we actually have ample inventory space. And Brady was right, I had to go buy it at the shop, so I must have saw it way beforehand and just forgot about it or something. Like I remembered it was a thing, but I didn't know where to acquire it from. So I was up shit creek there for a while when it came to uh, purchasing upgrades and shit, and collecting items and crap like that, so. Uh, let's see, we're supposed to go down to the mining deck, I think, is where we're headed. Okay, well the thing is telling me to go this way, so I'm gonna follow the stupid glowing blue beam of light. I'm not really good when it comes to the whole, uh, electronic thing, but we'll figure it out. I need level 3 clearance for that. Oh, hello. That's promising. It's good to see another human who isn't fucking torn asunder into multiple pieces. Why are these moved around again? What the fuck? Also, are there... Oh, let me guess. There's actually hidden treats and shit. I really didn't want to use whatever I just used. I think I just healed myself, but I didn't want to. Okay, I gotta figure out how to move these things. Oh, there we go. I think I figured it out. Alright. Cool, that wasn't that bad. That is. Hello there, Chief. I just solved the puzzle. Do you mind getting the fuck out of my way, bro? Thanks, pal. So I did turn the difficulty back up to normal, so I think I'm going to have to situationally turn it from medium to easy, I think, depending on the amount of resources I have. Because I'm not going through another room like that electrical panel room again. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not dealing with that kind of shit again. Like, I respect the game for its difficulty, but if it's just gonna beef up the enemies in terms of health and damage values, then I really don't give a shit all that much. Let's see if we have any upgrades that we can do right now. I don't believe we do, because I think I'm out- yeah, I'm fresh out of nodes. Okay, so now I have suit level 2 extended. I see, okay, so it does work how I thought. You have to buy the health upgrades from the shop. Or you gotta buy the suit upgrades from the shop or whatever. But it actually gives you a further upgrade path for your suit. Which I was not aware of. So now I know how that operates. See, it's weird when you play a game for the first time and you don't know exactly how everything is structured and everything's a little bit fucked off from understanding. But after you get a little bit of the way through it, you begin to understand it more, so that was just understanding that I did not have. Oh, this looks entirely safe. I like all the blood stains and smears. Okay, so this is an entirely new area that we're going to. This is not going to be retreaded ground. This is not going to be backtracking. What does this say? Always follow mining deck procedures. Keep all necromorphs at an 80 foot distance at all times. Keep all shields and guards in place. Never approach active machines. Read and understand manuals. Keep your rig synced up and inspect your work area. This is real, real promising. I really like how the lights are all going off and everything sounds all clanky and rusty. I'm sure there's not hordes of necromorphic fucking entities a way to tear away at my flesh, crawling through vents and shit. Oh, dude. Called it. Sir, do you mind giving a fuck? It's called the Plasma Cutter, not the Plasma Cucker. Would you mind dying? Piece of shit. Garbage. Garbage, dude! Get the fuck out of here, man! I'm out of rounds. No bueno. Okay, we're fine. Unless there's more. Please don't be more. There's more. Is 
Honestly, like, I know that's kind of bullshit. Like, I heard the guy. I heard him coming. I tried to get out of the way because I knew he was going to be close by. And instead of giving me ample room to be able to avoid him, I'm just forced into a grapple. I love that shit. Great. Great stuff. Cool. Okay, well, they're all dead. We're not. We're alive. We're fine. Lights are back on. That's a good sign. Optimism. Optimism, Isaac Clark. Okay. All right. We're all good. I really wish these doors would unlock. That'd be cool. Although, what if the shit out there is nastier than the shit in here? We've already made ourselves safe in here, so... I kind of want to stay in here now. Wait, are you telling me I came down here for no reason and there's no way to unlock that door? Okay, alright, well you better not do this segment again in the future. And redo the events. I've already killed the stupid asshole enemy, so they better not come back. I'm gonna have strongly worded written letters for whoever the fuck developed this. I think it's EA and somebody else. No, I think EA published it. I don't know who the developer is, though. But regardless, they will be receiving a strongly worded letter written from Isaac Clark if they do that kind of bullshit. Where are all these fucking doors locked? Like how they give me safety protocols for all this shit, but they don't mention the fucking infinitely locked doors. It's like a purgatorial death lift. Let me guess, more necromorphs? What's up, Kai? It'd be really bad if they threw Sesame Street members at me. That would actually scare me more than the Necromorphs, I think. God, I can't get to any of these doorways. What the fuck? Okay, fine. I guess I'll go to the one with the green diamond. Fine. Fuck exploring. Fuck picking up upgrades and supplies, right? What's gonna happen when I get to another room like the electrical panel room and I sit there for 40 attempts trying to get through it and I get ass fucked? What happens then? Maybe you should get some upgrades. I'm like, I tried to get some upgrades, but they wouldn't let me. And I'm gonna be fucked. I'm gonna be shafted, much like this elevator shaft. Oh, hey, this is open now. Open now. I mean, it was open before. I just didn't arrive at this floor before. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Friendly noises. You're in Space, Ohio? Space, Ohio. Yes. Basically. What's up, Z? Thank you for the host, brother. We're playing Dead Space for the first time. This game is fucking evil and it sucks ass. I suck ass at this game. It's also very hard. This game's fucking brutal. Brutally challenging. I've never played this before, so this is a blind run. Oh, let me guess. Okay. I understand. I think I get it. I gotta pull the crates to block the laser, yeah? Well, are you gonna let me, yeah, pull the thing or what? Okay, almost Isaac. This is like those things you play with when you're a toddler and you have to put the correct shape in the correct hole. What's up, guys? If you know Z, you're probably somewhat familiar with me. I suck at video games, but I play them badly for your entertainment. Because, again, I'm terrible at them. How did the rest of Resident Evil go, Z? I'm very sorry for the delay, by the way, man. I really, really tried. Circumstances beyond my control, much like Isaac in space. Okay, let's go down this hallway first and see if there's any goodies. Can we climb over this thing? We cannot. Okay, that just means I gotta put it closer. I've played Zelda before. I know how this shit works. There's a breakable box. Wait, just one breakable box? That's all I came over here for? Some line racks. Okay, and this is locked. Cool. Guess I'll go fuck myself. Alright. So good, I made a checkpoint. Gotta drop a deuce and buy some food. Yeah, you said you were going on food for like a long time. Good to see you though, guys. Welcome to my shit channel, where I play shit games poorly for your entertainment. They're usually very good games, I'm usually just incredibly poor at them. But they're usually good. So, as I stated previously, this is my first time in Dead Space. I've never played this before. Uh, okay. Joy. Cool. So these are necromorphs. Necromorphs are like evil parasitic alien things that infest corpses and reanimate them into big scary nasty things. And we're trying to not get minced by them as much as possible. I'm very bad at that too though. Thank you for shouting out Z, Kai. I appreciate it. My manners are all over the place. I have ADD like a motherfucker, so... Like the only reason I knew to put this giant engine block is because the hole matched the shape of the thing. That and I've done it like 12 other times. So we're playing on normal difficulty, but I have had to adjust it down to normal or easy a couple times in certain circumstances. 
So this game is, like I stated before, hard as fuck. Like, this is actually probably one of the most hard survival horror games I've ever played in my life. It might just be that I'm very unfamiliar with it, though. Mining deck log, G. Cruz, extraction operator. Entry 01, secured the subdeck perimeter, IEDs, plasma cutters, tripwire, survey charges. Three injured and Lingen is out of action. Her medications run out. Rest of the supplies are holding so far. Ammo, food, water, and thruster fuel. Even without the stuff for the SOS beacon. Entry 02, wired external accesses. All the mining bays are online now. Lingen unconscious. Nothing we can do. Entry 03, they broke through the floor vent. One of those flying fucks went right after Lingen's body and then we were fighting six instead of five. Cut them up and then shipped it all down to the smelters for quick cremation. Can't take any risks. Entry 04, survey charge went off too soon. Lost Schlegel, Fike, and Ziddle. Nice names. Never seen the inside of a head before. Took them to the smelter to be cremated, then supply inventory. Can't sleep. You guys ever seen Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? That sounds like Seven Dwarves names right there. Entry 05, too dangerous here. Took some gear to hold up somewhere safer. McSweeney followed me, yelling about being selfish. Me? He was the one leading those things right to me. Update. Fixed McSweeney. Visited Smelter. Can't sleep. Am I to assume that he smelted McSweeney? Entry 06. Also, 20 bucks if you can say that five times fast with no fuck-ups. Can't sleep. Cold. Can hear the others yelling. They're going to get me killed. Lincoln's right. I need peace and quiet, and the smelters need fuel. Damn. Imagine having to cremate your coworkers. I bet a lot of us wish we could do that, huh? Mostly in part to why I'm out of a job right now. So what do we have to do then? Oh, we have to take the elevator, okay. So the way I play horror games is I'm always inclined to check out the entire floor that I'm on before I access a new one, and that kind of gets me fucked in games like this. Especially because it's a giant space frigate, so like, they expect you to descend and descend and go around and... do all sorts of crazy shit. Oh no. Whoa, that was cool. Did you see it give me the stomp and the flamethrower? That was sick as hell. Just allow me to do that all the time. I'd be infinitely better equipped to take on these little fucks. So, those are babies from Pregomorphs. Pregomorphs are like Necromorphs, except they're pregnant, as you could assume. Mining deck log, A Dallas supervisor, Planet Crack of Aegis 7 was conducted today. Everything went smoothly from our end, there seems to have been problems planet side, and we've temporarily lost contact with the colony, but tethers are stable, with torque well within acceptable parameters. First rock ball, 010032, was extracted from the tectonic load location EQL5. Approximately one hour after planet crack, it had been processed, refined, and smeltered for sampling. Results exceeded even optimistic initial estimates. Normal recovery is around 35% mineral, 5% fossil, 60% waste, but material from the first ball was 65% mineral and 0% fossil, in line with expectations. That's 6.5 tons of ore from a 10-ton ball. Full production is now in process. Focusing on EQL5, assuming it's not an anomaly, we've hit a mother load. So basically what we are in right now is a mining frigate, but it has been taken over by these necromorph entities. And they seem to implant and infest themselves in bioplasmic material, so like human carcasses. And they regenerate and come back to life, and they give us a very wily bad time. I don't think we're going to be able to meet with Supervisor Dallas anytime soon, if he's even still alive, which I doubt. No, no of course I do. Okay, now I have to go down the big elevator, I got you. Okay, so I had to go through all this fucking work just to get here, just to turn out that I had to go back to the place that I initially tried to explore. Love it. So the rig is the spacesuit, so it seems like the different types of spacesuits have different levels of clearance. So we have to go get this deck supervisor, uh, his space rig or whatever, to be able to open the pathway, I guess. And I'm guessing now that we've had an intermission right there, that there's going to be a whole bunch more nasties that we're going to have to contend with. Yeah, you hear that noise? That's not friendly. Those are very bad nasty noises. I'm assuming they're going to chuck a new type of necromorph at me. They're kind of like Santa's workshop elves, like some are different shapes and sizes, but they all bring jolly merriment wherever they go. So I don't think I need anything from the shop, and I don't think I have to get rid of anything, given that I have more inventory space now. But now that I've already done all the electrical laser grid puzzles... Yeah, I was gonna say, it should be this way. I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about the lasers. I am gonna have to worry about that laser, however, so we're gonna have to move this. I'm also hoping I can use the laser hallways on the necromorphs somehow. 
because I can save a lot of ammo that way, and this game is very heavily about conservation of resource. Wait, what does this say? Beware traps ahead. Fuck you if you think I'm reading that. I'm not that Italian. In fact, I'm not Italian at all. Okay, let's go to processing. Let's also reload all my weaponry, Dead Space. Do you mind? I gotta see what my resources are. So I'm playing on normal, and I'm very, very low on rounds, and I've played very conservative up to this point. And uh, basically, I've been running throughout the majority of the game without the inventory upgrade because I didn't know how to get it, and I had limited resources available to be able to buy it at the time. So basically, uh, I made the game drastically harder on myself, I think. And that's why I've had to swap the difficulty between normal and easy, I think. Can I move this shit? I think I can. Okay, I'm assuming they barricaded this for a reason, but I assume there to be resources and goodies and ammo and shit down here. So I really want to check it out if I can. Doesn't appear to be anything nasty. I don't hear anything imminently bad. Not immediately, anyway. So I'd say we're about at the midpoint of the game, maybe a little bit further than the midpoint. So Dead Space does something a little bit interest like interesting for those unfamiliar with it. You want to cut off the limbs of the Necromorphs instead of shooting them in the head like you'd expect yourself to. And that's because they can be slowed down, so basically what you do is you damage their limbs and you hinder them from moving as quickly so they don't overwhelm you is kind of the... kind of the thing here. Go fuck yourself, Chief. There's no way you're not dead after that. He's actually not dead after that. Yeah, so this game is like rock solid hard. It may not look all that hard, but believe me, it's hard. It's a difficult ass game. And my problem with it is there is no dodge. You get stasis to slow enemies down, and that's about it. Do the dead really ever die? No. Unless you're Isaac Clark. He's a dead man walking. It's just a matter of time before we get ass fucked by these necromorphic space parasites. Security request, okay. Transparent alloys. Nice. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that I have other weapons, so it's not like I'm immediately low on resources, I just forget that I have other weapons. Oh, that's disorienting, dude. Oh, let's pull out the line gun, which I think is this thing, I can't really read it. Yeah, okay, I like that thing. Let's pull this thing out. Where do I have to go from here? Oh, I gotta go down. Okay. So, I'm not really used to technologically heavily centric games, because, like, science fiction is not really exactly my forte when it comes to horror. That sounds delightful. Can't wait to explore down that way. 